Hey folks, JD here, and today we're going to be looking at test printing on the Elegoo Mars. This is the third video in the instalment. If you haven't seen the rest and want to catch up, you'll find them all in the description. So, a couple of things have been added to the bench since yesterday. One is a Pyrex jug. Second is isopropyl alcohol. For resin prints, when you print with resin, you have your resin inside your, inside your reservoir here. The print head comes down, the resin print then starts to build up so from the bottom unlike with a 3d print when it prints off from the bottom and builds up so well actually no i think it's exactly the same isn't it yeah just different medium this is resin that's pla so that's cornstarch and this isn't this is a proper resin so what i've got on the bench here is i've got my resin there i've got my isopropyl alcohol because you need that to a wash the resin out of the reservoir later when you're done and also you need it to wash the uh to wash the the resin to wash the wash your 3d print so that's what we've got there we've got some gloves as well we are going to be using these um there we go just for when handling resin if you do come into contact with resin wash it off immediately it's not nice stuff to have on you i was um Many years ago, and it is many years ago, when I was in college doing engineering, we, we, we use resin and it's a nasty stuff if it hits your skin. So what I'm going to do is, just to recap everybody, before we start doing our test print, I've leveled the printer off so we're nice and solid as much as we can be. So that's good. I've got a little USB stick here, which is obviously what came with the Elegoo, if you haven't seen the unboxing. On here are a load of test prints. I'm going to connect this to my printer hopefully there we go like that there we go it's been accepted that's good i'm going to open my resin because it says in the manual which is what i'm using to read all this let's use that there we go because why not um it says in the manual that you were to put a third of resin into the reservoir so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a third of resin in the reservoir and I'm going to leave it as that. So before that, I'm going to put on my doctor's gloves. Shouldn't have done that. Um, there we go. Nope. Twist it round. Sweet. Nice. Shouldn't have done that. Should have learnt from the first time. So here's the resin. So as I went into the other day, I've decided to buy two one kilogram bottles of grey resin. Standard and it's the Elegoo Make. I haven't gone for any other. I'm using the one that is made for this particular printer. Now, all I've got to do is hopefully get this off. So, what I'm going to... Is there a cat? No, it's open. Okay, now I have opened the windows here, so if you hear any traffic going back and forth, apologise for that. But unfortunately, I need to have... If I'm dealing with isopropyl alcohol and I'm dealing with resin, I need to have some, some, some air here. So, my resin base is all in, nice and solid. I'm going to pop in a third of this into here. There we go. Actually, that's probably a bit, a little bit more than a third. Uh, now it's settled. Maybe not. Yeah, it looks a little bit more. That's okay. This thing is not going to stop today, <laughs> so I don't really mind. So that's it. No resin on the gloves. Let's take the gloves off. There we are. Lush. Put those to one side because they have been used. In fact, I'm going to throw them because I've got a myriad of those disposable gloves everywhere. So that's fine. And there's no drippage on there. So then the second thing, now we've plugged in the USB stick. We've added the resin. We've centered everything. Everything is nice and level. So we're all good to go. So now the next thing we have to do is we have to select the, the, the correct print. So if we click print in the manual, it says to select Rook. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do Elegoo Mars Rook model for printing and I'm going to select Rook. Oh good, they're chess pieces. Rook dot, there we go, so let's select that. We've got the STL on there as well, but there we are. We can see at the bottom here a picture of what we're going to be printing. So it's effectively two Rook chess pieces. So then we should be good to go. So I'm, I'm still considering whether that is enough resin, you know. Do you know what? I'm going to put a little bit more in. I really am. I... I've, it's different, isn't it? With PLA, you've got a one kilogram spool that sits on the top, see? So then pretty much everything just prints from that one kilogram spool. And just to give you an idea, this 
bent this larger bench that I printed out the other day and I haven't done anything with yet. I haven't even filed it down. This was about 200 grams of resin, uh, about 170 grams of resin, roughly. Uh, these shells, that's when I when I when I when I they, I, uh, I painted that one. But when I when I first printed these out, you're probably looking at about 500 to 600 grams of resin there. So probably half a spool for these two. Uh, but I do have my settings dialed up really high, and I do have a really fine nozzle on it. So I'm gonna put. A little, do you know what? I'm. I don't want to put in too much, but because they gave you a measuring cup here, I honestly thought they were gonna say put in 80 milliliters or something, but they don't. So it's very hard to 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 sort of. Yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna run with that. Sod it. Right, okay, so now I've done that, gone that. I guess you click play. And we have a percentage here of where everything is. So I guess when that goes in, it starts to printage. Oh, there's the resin. Lovely, all the bubbles rise into the surface. That's good as well. So we're at 1% for the second. And I'm going to take my hands off the bench. I don't want there to be any movement whatsoever. This is my first experience in the house with resin. So how long has it got? It's a duration of four hours. So I, no disrespect to anybody. I'm not going to sit here in this chair for four hours. But I will be going back and forth and doing little, little updates. Um, once we have finished doing this, what you need to ensure you have is you need to ensure you have isopropyl alcohol. It does say in the manual to give anything over 95%, so I've got 99, 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. Because once this is done and once all the resin is dripped back from the plate, you have to then wash your 3D print. So I'm going to be washing it with this. I got this off Amazon, it was roughly about eight pound, eight pound delivered to be fair for a one litre tub. And it's, it's lab grade, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and I put that just in front of, do you know what, I won't, I'll put that to one side so everybody can see my Terminator head because I'm proud of that. So there we go, there's a little click. Now what's it doing? Okay, well I tell you what folks, I'm going to leave that there for now. We'll have a little update in this, well, in a couple of seconds for you. Okay, update. We uh, elapsed time, 18 minutes. So it's been going for 18 minutes. It's done 4%. It's got another 4 hours and 2 minutes left. And it's done 50 layers of 1,000. 51 layers of 1,000. I've got the UV cover on it. I've moved the light out of the way. The blinds are closed. Um, I've still got the, the, the window open, though, because the... I don't know if it's just me or what, but it, it, the, the atmosphere seemed to get quite thick when I poured the resin in there. So everything is nicely well ventilated. Um, and that's how it's going to stay for the remainder of the print. The print head now and again, you may see it in this video, just moves up and moves down slightly as it's doing the layering. And this image here, you can see, there we are, there it goes. And this image here, you see in this black rectangle, that's exactly how much is printed so far. So you've got 53 layers of a thousand. Uh, so that's update one, friends. I shall be back when, well, when there's a bit more to tell. Hopefully I might leave it until it's a little bit out of the resin so you can at least see something. All right then, folks. We're 51% of the way through. Two hours and 16 elapsed. Two hours and three left. So now, I don't know how well you can see, probably not very, but I've just caught a glimpse before I started this video, just caught a glimpse of some of the, some of the model. And it's looking, come on, up it comes, up it comes. Can we just, you can just see it, it's gone. Ah, oh, do you know what, it's, it's actually looking pretty good, but probably about that much of it is printed in length. So um, I'll chime in again. Oh, we've done 518 layers of a thousand. So that's gonna be uh, quite interesting. So I'm gonna chime in again in a little while and see how we do, probably around the 70, 80% mark and see if we can see some of it then rise up. It's been around 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to just balance all of this sort of in there like that for the time being. I'm going to then hopefully get the little scraper that comes with the printer, a little black scraper. Where are you? I got my hands in it. There it is. And I'm going to scrape all this off. I've got another print I want to run out tonight. So I'm going to just scrape this off and then I'm going to set reset everything and then I'm going to go for another little print now it should be let's see let's have that run the right way let's see if I can oh it feels quite oh, one down 
Oh, two down. There we go. That goes down with a bit of a bang. Okay, I can see why they said wear gloves to do this bit. Because this bit is quite nasty. I'm going to now open the isopropyl. And I want to get this. Come on. I want to get this in here as quickly as I possibly can. I'm not going to use a lot. I'm going to put it up to about eight fluid ounces for the minute. Just so I can ensure I've got enough there. Then tighten that back on properly. And then I'm going to wash both of these in the isopropyl. So I get rid of all the resin which is which is left. And you can see that's turning a little from the, the clear isopropyl. It's now got a lot of resin in it. <laughs> there we are, that feels a lot better. It doesn't feel as slimy, it doesn't feel as as awful as it did do. Let's move that. I'm gonna just for this, I'm gonna move all this back to where it should be for now and screw that back on. There we go, for now. And then, oh, I can feel the isopropyl alcohol going through that. I think it was starting to. There we go. Now then, that's what we have there. So now we should be good enough to drain all that off. And then we should have our two test prints complete. So let me just go and swell this. And there we have it two little miniatures totally finished so that's it i've got some paper around it i did just because uh, this this was in the in the isopropyl for a little bit but then what i did is i took it out and i, I washed it with some, with some just with some water and then uh, obviously it's still a bit sticky you've still got to cure it for a little while longer got some tissue around there that's what that is if anybody's wondering but it's great because you've got the spiral staircase going right the way up the inside and a chain going right the way up the inside and the production value is extremely high. Look at that, you can't even see where the... Can't even see where the lines are. It's just beautiful. Really very nice. I can't wait to uh, to carry on and get some more stuff printed in so I can see exactly what that is like. If it's anything like this, I'm very, very impressed indeed. Look at that. Both of them. That's incredible. So I've got another print I'm going to be doing now. And I want to see exactly how that goes. That's uh, that's a bit more intricate than this. And I want to see exactly how well it does. But do you know what? That is brilliant. So far, Elegumars, thumbs up. There we are, my friends. Thanks ever so much for watching this. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And ring that bell too. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends. Happy printing.